Hi, it's me, Tree. I legitimately don't know why I always forget to introduce myself, say my name, do any of the things at the beginning of these. I just, I do. And for those of you that wonder, I am Tentacle Made Studios. So you can find me at Tentacle Made Studios most places. And if not that, Tentacle Made. Or if you're on my YouTube, you can find me at Tree Squid. I kind of felt like maybe I should say the thing today. I don't know. Just, um... However, it is Vlogmas Day 20, which means it is Vastmas Day 9. Ha. Numbers, what are they? I made a mistake. When I was re... And, and th this is a thing that happens to me habitually. I I'm dyslexic and sometimes have trouble scanning things, reading things. But when I was reading the, the, the Vastmas prompt thing, I skipped today. So I thought today was hero, and today is actually represent your favorite crew with arts slash crafts slash stories. Now the thing is, is that I'm an artist. I, I, the, the, it's what I do. It's how I make my questionable living. <laughs> and so... I've done actually a lot of drawings of the characters from Vast, including kind of some obscure ones. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say my favorite, one, my favorite ones that I've drawn and put them here because they're mostly digital pieces. And it just seems silly to have a screen here to go see, see the thing when I can just insert the photo. But I should mention that I do have some of them up on like... God, this is going to become an advertisement. I apologize. I am not sponsored. I'm just trying to make a living. I do have several of them up on my Redbubble, which is Tentacle Made. But I actually have one of the physical pieces, which I don't often have physical pieces of my, my digital work, like on products from Redbubble, unless they're shirts I'm wearing at cons. But I do have one. I have this lovely journal of Rake and Leuven. There we go. And I'll put the digital original there so you can see it. But yeah, it's it's literally one of my favorite pieces I've done in Vast, which is why I turned it into a notebook that I could use other favorites and, and some of them are like really refined pieces and some of them are basically doodles and legitimately one of my favorite kind of doodles is the tree friends which I talked about them yet in yesterday's video about why Taka, Noble Defender and Nidar's friendship is really important to me we also have we all, <laughs> surprise surprise we have the the beautiful Hans and all of his leggy wonder. My darling Marizan Visionary Destroyer. And I should put here that this is probably my favorite drawing of Visionary Destroyer I have ever done. She's pin -uppy and she has a crown of skulls. Come on, what's not to like about that? This might be a good idea, just being his, his sassy charismatic self. My darling baby Kraya. Quite literally one of the most atmospheric things I've ever done of Chrome possessing the Visionary Destroyer. I'm so pleased with how it turned out. A pinup Gaska because seriously, pinup Gaska. I, I love every character Amanda pa Powers plays, portrays. I, I kind of just love Amanda Powers a lot, a lot. So, Fractal Bright. Which, this isn't, like, the best thing I've ever drawn, and it's kind of strange, but Fractal Bright being a two-dimensional being of fractal light is a difficult thing to portray. So, these are the favorite drawings, things I have done for the, the Vastronaut fandom. I have some more, a few more, a couple more. There are more. There, there will probably be more. 
And it's interesting that today ended up being the Arts Craft Stories Day because I am facing changing my studio situation. So this is just kind of in line with the universe. I currently have two studios. I have one at home and I have one at a not-for-profit arts community in Green Bay called the Art Garage. And there's this group called The Artery that one of my friends is a co-founder of. And I, I don't want to say they've been trying to poach me because they haven't been trying to poach me. They're just trying to find support in the community. And the, the Northeastern Wisconsin art community is strangely small, even though we're spread out over a really large distance. And so that they've the arteries finally gotten themselves to a point where it's like yes we have we have the building we're going to have studio spaces let us give you a tour and give you the pitch and the art garage for a variety of reasons is going in directions that do not align with my core values or what I want to do with my art and in addition to all of this what I've been concentrating on in my art has been changing and the mediums in which I create art have been changing. So it may be time for a studio move. It may mean that I consolidate everything back into my home studio, which means I will have to suck it up and buy adult artist furniture because it's piecemeal chaos in there. I finally, after having been a professional artist for 10, 12 years, finally bought a real easel. Yeah. So, these are things I need to consider. There's also zoning considerations with the, the artery space, which is part of the tour I'm going to get is about zoning and move-in and rent and things like that. It's also smaller than the studio space I have at the art garage right now. But that may not be an issue. But yes, potential changes, very stressful, need to make a decision. At the very least, I am probably not going to be at the art garage anymore, which makes me sad. It, it might just be time for me to, to be a grown-up artist all on my own and do things differently than I've been doing them. I'm going to go. This has been exciting and weird and only the most tangentially adjacently connected to each other. And yes, I, 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 I keep getting stuck. I'm sorry. I'm going to go. Do good. Be kind. Be brave. Courage. Let me find the thing. Just a moment, please.